Hey guys, today I'm doing a product review on a Skosh FM transmitter. We'll take a look at the packaging here. I've had this for about a month now and uh, it's working great. So this particular transmitter has quite a few options. It has a built-in MP3 player. You can charge your phone with it. It has a USB charging port on it. So you can play MP3, pile, MP3 files from a SD card or a USB drive. And fully adjustable display head. So it comes with a remote control. Here's some other uh, information on the product. It has a 5 watt 1 amp charger. So that's a pretty powerful charger it comes with built into it. It also has an option you can plug your phone into the player with a uh, 3.5 millimeter cord that comes with it. And this is where you would plug your phone in right here. And then also this would be the charging port. It comes with a cable for this but it doesn't come with a cable for charging your phone or other device. And also that same USB port, you can plug a memory stick into that, music on it, and then you can play the music off of that memory stick. One thing I've ran into with the memory sticks, the thumb drives, the 16 gigabyte will not work in there, but I have an 8 gigabyte that works fine. So I think 8 gigabyte may be the maximum size you can use in this, in this player. <coughs> I also use SD cards, so you can have a bunch of different SD cards with different music on it, swap them in and out, and the way they go in, they go in this direction, just like that, so it's going to stick out a little bit, sort of not as bad as a thumb drive, you know, depending on your car, you may have some interference if you stick the thumb drive in there so it sticks out quite a bit um, pivots show you how much it pivots here so like 45 degrees angle you can change and it comes with a remote which is pretty handy so you can keep your eyes on the road and you can uh, kind of memorize the buttons and press whichever button you need. I've got a 12 volt jump start pack. It has a 12 volt outlet on it. So I'm going to plug it in and see how, you can see how this works. So it's booting up now. It has a lit display that's not real bright. So in uh, bright sunlight you may have to cover it with your hand to see the display real well. And but at night, it's it's just about the right brightness for at night or a not real bright day. It works pretty good. So you've got buttons all around the edges here. you got to play. As soon as you plug it in, it will start playing the last song that will play, that had played previous. It won't memorize where it is in the song, but it will memorize. If you turn your car off, it will memorize where which song, which track was being played last and it'll restart that track from the beginning. So you got buttons on either side. You can go to the next track, back, forward. Here's a play and a pause button. So I got a pause now. And then this button up here is for changing your frequency. So you press this top button. Then you press the side buttons to tune in your frequency and it goes two numbers, point two numbers at a time. So you got the full frequency band to choose from to uh, find a good static free uh, transmit uh, frequency to transmit on. <clears throat> and I found in my area 88.7 works the best. Okay, so you also get this remote control with it. 
and we'll try to line up next to it here. So you can see the display in the remote. There's a button here that changes the uh, mode of play. This green arrow button here. So you can play folder, single. Now that's going to repeat the same song over and over. Random play, all. Go back to folder. And then you've got folder plus and minus buttons here. So I've got folders built in. I name the folders like folder up that's up there now is all that music is rock music. So I can go folder this way. I got country music and that folder. Another folder I got pop music in that. Okay, so <clears throat> then you also have these channel minus and plus buttons. What that's going to do is change the uh, frequency the transmitter transmit the uh, music on. So if I press plus, it's going to go up, change that frequency 0.2 at a time. For me, 88.7 works really well in my area. Then you have, uh, these are the track buttons here, the ones with the double arrows. So right now it's on 35 of 298 tracks. So I can go, now it's on 36, 37, it goes one at a time. Unless you go to folder, you know, you can change your folder. Then you can go from there those different tracks and then you got a play and pause button right there we'll pause it and we'll play and plus minus buttons here are for the volume the highest volume is number 16 you know and you can go down from there that's kind of nice if you if your stereo is built into your car as uh, if you click at one number and it the volume jumps a bit, like in my car, kind of jumps quite a bit, so you can actually fine tune the volume with this. So I like that feature. And then you got number buttons. So you can select a track, say, you know, track number 11 is your favorite track. Hit there one twice, and 11 will come up and start playing 11. And I found the, the audio quality is very good. Um, I'm not I'm not getting any static. It must be a fairly powerful transmitter And that's going to probably depend on the antenna you have on your car also If you got a broken antenna, it's not going to work as well So that's a uh, I'll show you how it works. I got a little radio here I got it tuned in Let's pause this a minute And I've got a radio. I'm going to turn this on to FM. And I got already had it tuned to 88.7. Oops, I just hit the button there. 88.7. And we'll turn the volume up a bit. It's not going to be excellent audio quality out of this little radio, but give you an idea somewhat of the sound. We're going to play. We will play track 11. If I die young, bury me inside. Lay me okay, it's going to switch to track 11 now. So that's track number 11. And I can go to track 12. Just by hitting that. There's track 12. I can go to a different folder. Go to the pop folder. Go to the rock folder. Change tracks. This button here. So there you go, guys. I don't want to get in trouble with the uh, music police on YouTube, so I'm gonna just just play that little bit of music. So there you go, guys. It's a uh, quick overview of the Skosh FM transmitter. Uh, this is the uh, product number here. And when I bought this about a month ago um, in November of 2013, it was $34 at Walmart. And it's, so far it's been a good transmitter headed about a month. All right, take care guys.